morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. I'm Robert Praxty. This is Justin Anderson, and this is Justin Anderson's channel. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day today. Hope it is going well. Hope it continues to go well. So, uh, it is December 1st as we are recording this. Tyler Joseph's birthday. birthday. Uh, first off, a little introduction. This is one of my best friends here at my college. He, I talk about Tony Pilots with this guy all the time. Big Tony Pilots fan. You own original best on vinyl. And self-titled. And self-titled. Prob yes. Probably most likely fan-made stuff. But probably, still, but you've been a fan since all the way back then. Yeah. But I figured we'd do something fun. He came over, I'm like, you wanna be in a video? And we're gonna to react to our Spotify, we're gonna show each other our Spotify rap. So this is gonna be fun, give you a little inside mind of me and to give you a little introduction of my best friend right here. Welcome, special guest on the channel. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, mine and yours first. Do you want to do mine first, since I, we should save like the best for last? Keep them in suspense. <laughs> Let's do it. In suspense. It's gonna be different. Yeah, his music taste is a little bit different than mine. MGK. I listen to this uh, probably for a good like two months every year. Nice. Hey, it's a good song. So your movie soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Let's see this. The opening credits. Fuzzy Brain by Dayglow. Now, if you've never heard of Dayglow, I strongly suggest listening to Dayglow. I've never listened to Dayglow. Dayglow is this, okay, he's this guy. Uh -huh. When I get into an artist, I go into a deep dive, okay? <laughs> he does, he does. So, he's this guy who is my age, he's 21, 22 actually. No, um, I forgot I was 22. Uh, he's 22 and he made this first album, it's called Fuzzy Brain. And he made it in completely like in his dorm room, if it ever loads. Uh, it was released in 2019, 10 songs. And it's just, you've probably heard some of the songs, like, Can I Call You Tonight is one of his most well-known songs. Can I Call You Tonight? Uh, and then he just released an album this year, not under the same circumstances of he was recording it, like, in a dorm room, but it's called Harmony House, and it's very good. So if you don't know Dayglo, check out Dayglo. He's very good. God, listen to me some, some Dayglo. The song you proclaim as your love in the rain, Slow Dancing in the Dark by I Joji. I can't take seriously that picture. Excuse me, what? <laughs> the song playing as a single tear drops into your reflection in the pond. Welcome to the black grave. Ah, uh, you emo kids. All the emo here. All the emo here. Right. You spent, uh, was it? A 34,972 minutes listening to music. Oh. This is more than 86% of other listeners in the Ooh. United States. Oh, dang, son. I only use Spotify. True, yeah. You know, I really dig this. Formidable, good one. Your top song this year was Formidable. You listened to it a reasonable 64, 64 times. times. Yep. Yeah, we're, yeah, that's a good song. I love Formidable. It's, it's such a bop. It's such a bop. I'm surprised Bounce Man didn't take it over because I started listening to Bounce Man a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> but that wasn't the only song in your rotation. Your top songs. Formidable. Wish Me Luck by Wallows. Good Day by Tony Pilots. Something by Dayglow. And once again, Slow Dancing in the Jerk by, by Joji. Yeah, the song that's playing now is Wish Me Luck by Wallows. And if you've never heard of Wallows, it's... If you've ever seen 13 Reasons Why, mm, yeah. the main character, Clay Jensen, yeah. that's the lead singer of his band. Oh, right. Yeah. I think we've seen 13 Reasons Why. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> first season is the first season's because the rest of them are kind of butt. I think I've had more than one season. Bo Burnham. Bo oh, Burnham. <laughs> that's fun. Your aura check. Now, this is going to be the interesting one. Because I, I notice a lot of people get a certain color scheme. Oh wow, yours is really different from everyone who I've seen. Silly and wistful. wistful. I've seen wistful a lot, but I haven't seen a lot of people get silly. If you listen to the song, if you hear the song in the background, that's what. Well, I mean, silly. yeah, Bo Burnham. Yes. If you wake up in a house that's full of smoke, don't panic. Okay. <laughs> Choker, absolutely. You always understood the assignment. You listen to 79 genres this year. All right, before we get to the 79 part. genres. All right, so they give you a top five genres. Uh huh. What do you think my top five? Uh, uh, they very, everything we've heard so far. Uh, variations of alternative, so alt rock, okay. uh, alternative in general, I guess indie, in uh, okay. I, alt pop. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know. Want to find out? Yeah, let's find out. 
Modern rock, emo, classic rock, indie rock, indie pop. Uh, it's weird that like Spotify includes like that emo, emo as a genre. <laughs> I saw that too when Emery was just like, "Yep, I got that too." That's that's fantastic. Two truths and a lie. Oh boy. So uh, I will read the two truths. All right. Trap the false statement. Okay. Okay, so your number one Spotify playlist this year was Surf Rock Sunshine. Your artist you binged listen this year the most was AJR. The uh, the artist you appear in the most of your playlist was Wallows. I'm going to say the lie. AJR is your lie. I know. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Vampire Weekend was the the band what? I binged. Huh. I I will say there was a there was a day where I was like. To listen to them per weekend for the for a week. I had listened to them for like a month. <laughs> like nice. all their albums back to back to back to back to back. And you listen, like I said, it's weird because like different music tastes. You won. Yeah. BFF beat the challenge. I did. One podcast lives your head run free all year. I don't. I know you listen to podcasts when you drive. Mm -hmm. I you told me your favorite podcast, but I always forget it. Well, you'll find out. It's the guy with it's the people in Scrubs. Yeah, yeah. yeah fake fake doctors, real friends. I listened to thirty three episodes for a total of 2,710 2, minutes. Nice. So now I'm gonna give you the top podcast. I will know you from listening to the one. So okay, so yeah. so fake doctors, real friends, number one. Uh -huh. Bar down, which is a like a hockey channel. Mm. They do a podcast. That's number two. And then a hot dog is a sandwich. Okay, so if you've, you've ever heard of um, Rhett and Link, Good Mythical Morning. Of course. That's their podcast? It's, it's the Mythical Kitchens podcast. Ooh. So they talk about, like, food myths and, like, um, what is what is Dr. Pepper? Like, what is Dr. Pepper? They said root beer and Coke. Huh. Um, they're like, is ketchup a smoothie? Is hot so it's like the is weird hot questions dog, like that. Is, yeah. Is okay. a hot dog a sandwich? Okay. Like, 732 two different artists. artists. Your top artist was AJR. Wow. Look at, look at that. Read that next part. Uh, you are 0 0.05 of, like, in the top 0.05% of their listeners. Dang. I'm the top. Dang, son. You'll never guess who mine is. It's probably Sea Shanty. I know, right? I spent a total of 2,181 minutes with them and just couldn't get enough of Joe. I Joe know. is one of their songs. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, because the new album came out this year. Yeah, it's a good album. And so I went on a binge. Mm -hmm. So I listened to their first album and I love their first album. You found a lot of love this year. Now I believe this is your top five so yeah, your top five artists. Do you want to take a guess? Okay, so uh, AJ is at your top. That was kind yeah, of spoiled. Yeah, spoiled. Uh, I want to say number two is Twenty One Pilots. Okay. Uh, we've seen we've seen or heard all these artists. Number three is going to be Dayglow. No, you're very close. Number four is Dayglow. Yeah. Okay. Number three is Vampire Weekend because you be oh no they're not in top five Arctic Monkeys. No. There's one other band that we talked about. I f I'm stunned. I forget everything. Wallows. Wa uh, dang it, Wallows. And then number five is a comedy one. <laughs> is Bo <Bulber> Burnham? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My top five is AJR, Twenty One Pilots, Wallows, Dayglo, and Bo Burnham. Which one of these things doesn't belong? That's that's hilarious. That's great. <laughs> So now Robert's going to react to my rap. So this is going to be fun. I've already seen this. First off, hold yeah. On. Okay. So I'm look. I'm just looking at his recently played. And yeah. It's a lot of Twenty One Pilots. So I'm thinking that it's going to be a lot of Twenty One Pilots. No, it's just all the sea shanties. That's right there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. All right. So let's hit play on here. Ah, uh, this is fish that's playing. That also doesn't spread. Wait, no. Actually, no. This is just regular Talking Heads. I love Talking Heads. Cross-Eyed Painless is such a great song. All right. Ready to get into the look of it? I didn't notice that they did that. Yeah, oh, know. wow. I hate that. <laughs> see, see Shandy? I'm kind of, yeah. The Newfoundland folk music. So my opening credits theme is The Night That Patty Murphy Died by Great Pink Sea. 
Oblivion. <laughs> Elder Scrolls. <laughs> it's a good song. A song of Slender Shake and Tier she, Single uh, Tier 2. That was not on there before. That was not on there before. <laughs> you might want to cut that part out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 24,512. Yeah, I expect that to be a lot higher. About like 12,000, maybe even more, is shorter than me. Yeah. I think I had the same one! Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. My Cho name's formidable. A hundred... Choker. A hundred and sixteen times. Like... That's that's nothing to my formidable. <laughs> yeah, that's nothing to your formidable. Your formidable's like 64. Yeah. Mine's 160. I love Choker. It's my favorite. Off of Scale Nicey. So, so they know, what's your favorite off of Scale Nicey? Formidable? I mean, it has to be Formidable. Um, you listen to it the most. Yeah, Formidable is one of them. Uh, but I would also say Bounce Man. Bounce Man, yeah. That's an underrated Bob, like I Never like Taken. I like Never Taken, too. It's a good song. It's underplayed. <laughs> Guess the top five songs. I'll give you a hint. They're all by one artist. Hmm. Fish? <laughs> no, they're, they're all 21 pilots. They're all 21 and, no, that, that should be really hard going through all the entire discography. So, Ready? Uh, wait, 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 wait. All right. Screen has to be on there because well, there's playing. Yeah. So I think Screen might be number one. It's not. Is it number two? It's not. So is it five? It's not number so five. Three. It is three. So Choker, oh no, Choker's number one. Choker's number one. Screen's number three. Um, It's not, not, definitely not Hometown. Um, <laughs> you bet it's not all down. That is right at the bottom. Uh, now, are we talking like Scaled and Icy? We are talking Scaled and Icy. So the rest are Scaled and Icy songs? The rest songs? are Scaled and Icy songs. Okay, Screen's okay. the odd oh, one. Oh, okay. Redecorate. Redecorate's on there. Forget where. So you got is three. Good Day on there? I think Good Day's on there. Oh, let's find, you know, let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. So, oh, no, Good Day's oh, not. Oh, Mulberry on. Street. Mulberry Street is such a good one. Shy Away is a lot of people's number one, surprisingly enough. Choker, my number one. Screen's the odd one out, number three. I love Mulberry Street. Mulberry Street's so good. Mulberry Street. I was not plugged in. There. So good to see you. Redecorate number four, because sad boy, sad boy hours. Yeah. A lot of sad boy hours. Is this Rocky Horror? It's Rocky. It's 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 an Is this game. Jack Black's version of yeah. Rocky Horror? This oh, is this this is what I see everyone, get. everyone get. Everyone's getting Focus, Focus, Focus and Wistful. Wistful. This green blue combination yeah, with I black mixed in there. I didn't get that. I got yeah. Wistful and silly. This means twenty one pounds fans are focused. Fifty three genres this year. Okay, so a little bit less. Than yeah, a little bit less than yours. All right. Uh, top guess. top genres. Okay, so is she is, is sea shanty is a genre. Uh, I classify it as a genre, but I can tell you it's not on there. Okay. The, like it's so hard to remember all these because they're alternative? so alternative. I think alternative is one. Like it's so hard to read because they're emo. all smushed together. Emo. I don't think he was on there. No, let's just find out. Let's find out. Jam bands. Jam band. Celtic. Classic rock. rock. Sorry, what was it? Alt rock, rock and jazz fusion. Oh, oh, okay. Time for two truths and lie with. All right, the artist you binge listened to this year the most was Great Big C. Oh, never mind. Your number one Spotify plays this year was 21 Pilots Radio. And or the song you binge listened to the most was World's Smallest Violin by AJR. Great Big C. Great Big C, you think false? Let's find out, shall we? The, that is a truth. See, I was, it was between these two. Yeah, because 20 Pilots Radio, of course. I was like, I don't know if you listen. I, I know you like AJR. Yeah, no, I I did have a little period where I did binge listen to World's Smallest Violin constantly, but lately I've been binging Great Big C. That's why I drive to, just because, like, it keeps something different than 20 Pilots. You take a break from them sometimes. Oh. Jay Joseph for Podcast of the Year, but... It was the Politics, Politics, Politics podcast with Justin Robert Young, which I haven't listened to in forever, because I really don't listen to podcasts a lot anymore. That was to 523 different artists this year, but the one that was pretty serious with was 21 Pilots with, look at that oh, percentage, so you, buddy. Yeah, you, you were in the .05%. It's like it's my job or something. <laughs> But yeah, so I listed them. The whole minutes. Thirty-six. Thirty. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't get enough of Joker. But yeah. So top five artists. Twenty pounds is number one. Yes, number that's two is fish. That's correct. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Great big, was it Great Big World? A uh, Great Big C, yeah, that's yeah, number C. three. 
Um, now, the last two we have not seen on the Spotify at all, mm. music-wise mm-hmm. or lists. So I'm going to say Sea Shanty Group. Kind of. My number four is Alan Doyle of Great Big Sea, because he does his he own does solo thing that's absolutely fantastic. I love his solo stuff. Makes me cry a couple of the songs. And then number five, Dance Gavin Dance. Because <gasps> What? Yeah. Love Dance Gavin Dance. Dance Gavin Dance? Yeah, have you ever heard of it? Yes. <laughs> it's a, this is a bond we didn't know we had. Tillian. Tillian. That's yeah. okay. I listened to a song by Tilly. Uh-huh. My coworker showed me this. It, the Tillian's so good. Like mm-hmm. he's my favorite like for the Dance Gavin Dance Evolution, he's my favorite singer out of all of them, but uh their latest album Afterburn, Nothing Shameful. It came out last year before we all got Dance locked Gavin down. Dance. But the song "Nothing Shameful" is fantastic. Love it. Then they like awkward stroke gun millionaire. Ah, so good. And like even uh, "Strawberries Wake," so prisoner is the only dance Gavin dance song I could play on guitar, and I can barely play just because Will Swan, their guitar player, is a beast. Dance monkey dance. Oh hey Robert. Yeah. Uh, so it uh, the GoPro overheated and didn't record the outro to the video. It got the very tail end of us saying that was our Spotify wrap-ups, but uh, we need to do the entire outro again. So that was our Spotify year-end wrap-ups. That was the inside of mine to one of my best friends who I interact with every day, and that was the inside to my mind, and you just see the madness that goes on inside. Robert, anything to say before we go? What's that grin you have on your face? (laughs) Hey, I genuinely don't know what's happening. I'm not gonna say anything about the, the, that album. Yeah. Just leave him with that little tease. You brought that energy into this world. The worst <laughs> album. Uh, uh, should, should we? Should the worst we? album by Twenty One Pilots is gonna be announced later. <laughs> so he has he has a hot take. But yeah, I'm, we not might... gonna, I'm not gonna tell him that I hate. That's getting beeped, so we can probably save that for a later video, get everyone curious. If they like you, if you like Robert, let me know down in the comment section. Maybe we can get him into more videos, because I do see him in person, and I love the guy. I love him a lot. Like, look at this guy. But, uh, if you have Spotify, let us know your wrapped down in the comment section below, because we would love to see your artists, who is your top songs, your top artists this year. See any similarities, maybe? Yeah, see any similarities, because I think it's cool. Maybe you'll find friends who listen to the same music you do, because... Maybe you'll find new stuff. Yeah, maybe you'll find new stuff. Definitely. Day-Glow. Yeah, definitely go listen to Dayglow. Go listen to some music that we listen to, and maybe I'll give you some music that you guys listen to as well. Well, that is it for today's video. So I'm going to go edit this. No, I'm not going to go edit this video. I have to go to class because we are recording this in the middle of the day at college. Make sure you subscribe and punch that notification bell so you see when he uploads these videos like this one, like this one, the one that we're in right now. And, uh, and and if there is incentive to subscribe to 4,000, I don't know if you know this, but su- when the channel hits 4,000 subscribers, if we hit it before the end of this year, I'm going to cover the entirety of the live stream experience in one take. <laughs> yeah, and we are, I think, less than, I think we're 15 away, actually. And you need a drummer? <laughs> <laughs> he does play drums, too. But... Uh, so, yeah, so there's that. So anyway, guys, my arm's getting tired. We're going to go to our next class, and we'll see you later. Goodbye, and good night. More importantly, have a good day, and we'll see you later. Punch the notification bell. (laughs)